Susie, of course. Hello. Sitting next to somebody that really drives some sanity into our lives and explains how to handle life. It's the wonderful Dr Linda Papadopoulos. Welcome back. <laughs> Susie. Uh, we got Miss Heard. Again, I'm sorry? <laughs> as long as we've got nuclear. Yep. Dr Linda. Uh, we got Lupine as well. Yep. Like Susie. We got a cute one for eight, smidgen. So today I thought we'd speak about coping with shyness. Um, I, I think this is an interesting one because I think increasingly, and I think this probably happened a lot during lockdown and, and you know, and having to work and present, a lot of people were saying it just kind of felt that they were, became much more self-aware. And it's an interesting one, shyness, isn't it? It kind of makes your life smaller. So just a few tips on this, fake it until you make it. If you act confidently, it's kind of self-perpetuating because the thing is you're pretending, but through doing that, you're actually kind of habituating. You're getting, feeling anxious is never really the problem problem. Avoidance is the problem. So if you can feel anxious but do it anyway, you're actually going to A, minimize that anxiety, but B, have a greater sense of control because you're focusing on the fact that you're able to do this. So that's the first one, act confidently. The second one is engage at every opportunity speaking to moms on the school run, you know, waiting for someone on the bus stop. Just, just strike up a conversation, engage, listen, ask questions. You know, do it in cases where you might feel that there's not much jeopardy. The fact is, the more you do that, the more you're able to challenge the notion that... And finally, I, really, really importantly, is kind of, you know, when you're talking, try really hard to not self-objectify. People that are shy become very self-aware. So you and I are talking now. So I'm folks dead. I was thinking about how I was being perceived on the outside. I'd be much more aware of my inflections of voice, of the way I was speaking it, instead of actually just focusing on that conversation with you. So get back inside your body, stop self-objectifying, make that effort, have that talk, and ultimately the shyness will slowly subside. A seven with choice with terminal on say for seven. Beyonce, Paul. And what have you got? Soupier. And uh, rubbies, uh, plural of rubby, an alcoholic who drinks rubbing alcohol. Oh, God, that would have to be Canadian. <laughs> um, I think we've got a seven with Maisius. Thank you. You've sort of settled a number of, you know, put us at ease again. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. Come back and see us again soon when you'll give us more sage advice. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. much indeed. It's always great to have you here. Well done to Coral. Because